Dr. Yak, it was uh, fantastic to have you on the line. We're really previewing the week of the Cape Premier Yearling Sale. It's, you know, it's got new hands, new ownership, and, and it's really um, powered by Tadassil. So fantastic um, feeling around it, a fantastic initiative to be back at the CTICC, an air-conditioned event that buyers love being in and the vendors love selling at. So, you know, there's a, a really good feeling heading to the first sale of the year. You've got a draft of 10 um, going to the sale and and how are you feeling about the draft and, and how, how you stand? Well, obviously the sale is very early in the year. Um, some of them, the yearlings will still develop, but um, I'd say from the 10 we bring, all of them are very valuable and nicely developed horses. Uh, so I feel very confident and, and um, I'm very happy with what we bring. And coming off the back, uh, a season of fantastic uh, horses running and and sa your stars are doing fantastic as well from person getrix to erupt um and i see here you've got a really smart horse he's out of give me the green light uh, i really want to point out to him because th that whole page stood out to me um he's an early horse he's, it's lot 107 his name is valley of the kings out of the captain elme you know victoria laval she was very quick yeah, she was very quick, and I don't have to talk about Captain L. He's a great brute mare sire, and, uh, and obviously Western Wind are the same. And if you go back on the page, you find a horse called Surumul, who was probably the most influential, the northern dancer of Germany, uh, influential sire in the history after Second World War. And uh, we actually bred him in, in Germany. And so uh, I brought this mare, uh, the, the, actually the third dam of this horse, uh, called Carmelita and Caramanta. Yes. I brought Caramanta to South Africa. And um, um, because she's coming from a very valuable family. In fact, as you know, my grandfather started breeding in Germany in, in the early 60s. And um, he always said the C family, the, the, starting with a capital C, is his best family and so this is why i thought i bring this family to south africa if you go down on the pedigree it's quite interesting because under i mean the sixth dam or in the catalog it would be the seventh dam is a, is a mare called crepe band my grandfather bought her in 1965 and she produced um, a champion three-year-old called caracol so now caracol is an interesting horse because he was very very tough can you imagine he won a group one, the most important group one in Germany, only five days after he won a group three, uh, both over 2,000 and a, mile, and a mile and a half. So at that time, these horses were so tough they could win group races within five days. That just gives you an idea of how tough these horses at that time and the German families are. So this is a very old, good family from us. And and um, the Surumo element in there, you have to keep in mind because there is all the top 10 German horses after Second World War, all of them have Surumo in them. When you look at Silvano, he has Surumo, Monsoon, Akatenango, Lando, who won the Japan Cup, Dane Dream, who won the Arc de Triomphe, Novelist, who won the King George, Protectionist, who won uh, the Melbourne Cup. All of them have Surumo in there. So it's 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 a wonderful pedigree. And uh, I'm, I think I have to say that the horse looks magnificent. He's an early born horse. Uh, he is fully developed has great muscular uh, development so i'm very i'm very confident that he will um will be a, a top horse in the sale and you know i think this is the kind of sale where international buyers you, you alluded to it being a very well-known german family um, european family with group one credentials so they'll have some familiarity when they look at a, at a page like this and and that's really good to bring to the sale. I'd like to mention uh, and point out that obviously Virginia Beach won on debut, the two-year-old Silvana, which would be the sister to um, to this lot that you have. Um, so it shows some precocity and some earliness too. And, and is that what you see in the horse as well? Or how do you see him as an individual? Uh, definitely. He looks like an early horse. Again, he's, he's born on August 7 uh, early. He's very deep. Uh, um, he has a wonderful walk on him. He has a great color. He's a dark, very dark. It says bay cold, but he's very dark bay and is, is very nicely developed. And as you said, it's nice to see the sister, Silvano, winning two-year-olds uh, over 800 meter first time out. So for Silvano, that is very special. And maybe my last sentence would be to say, you know, on the bottom of this page, as my grandfather said, his best family ever, uh, on the bottom of this page, you have a horse, as I mentioned, Caracol, who 
uh, became very famous as well because uh, he was the first Group One winner we as a family had in 1972, and um, that made him a superstar. And that's also because we have, uh, I mean, actually we have a lot of paintings from him um, because he was the first one uh, of a row of fantastic horses. So I'm th this family is very close to my heart. And that's really important. And thank you for sharing that uh, with us. Um, we look forward to seeing him uh, at the sale. Obviously, viewings are opening soon and look forward to seeing the rest of your draft. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you, Troy. The, the horses are on their way to you and uh, I wish you a great sale. Good luck.